mother-in-law tried to feed our four-month-old raw milk behind my back, so I called the cops and decided to file for divorce. I, 26F, recently had a baby with my husband of two years, Liam, 28M. Our son is almost four months old now and I've had a hard time training my husband to be a dad so far. He does everything that I ask him not to because he doesn't believe in what the internet says or sometimes even what the pediatricians say and goes by his own gut instinct. Which is very wrong most of the time but he's too stubborn to admit that he knows nothing about babies. I'd had to force him to stay away from the baby after the first time he put our son to sleep on his stomach because apparently he looked more comfortable that way. I've never left our son, Ron, alone with him, and for good reason. He was mad about it the first couple of weeks but then got used to it. He would still try to give me advice and make me follow it but I'd shut it down really quick. It was annoying to deal with him but he was my husband so I knew I had to make the best of the situation somehow. I didn't want to leave him over some petty mistakes that he was making as a new dad but now, I think that I should have. Around three days back, Liam told me that he had to leave for a business trip but told me not to worry because he'd already asked his mother to come help me out with the baby. Liam's mother Judy, 52F, had come to see the baby several times before but she was also really annoying to deal with because she was just like her son. She believed that whatever she'd done while raising Liam and her other kids was the only right way to raise a child and everything that everybody else said was just rubbish. She'd try to school me constantly and it wasn't helpful at all most of the time so she definitely wasn't my first choice if I had the option to pick someone to help me out. I would've picked my own mother to come live with me during the week that Liam would be gone and I told him to tell Judy about it but he begged me to let Judy come instead. He said that she really wanted some time with her grandson and this would also help us bond. I didn't like that idea but he was being so insistent that I had to agree. At least Judy didn't have some nonsensical and dangerous ideas like Liam did, hers were just outdated. She believes that picking up babies every time they're crying will spoil them and that's just one of her ideas. It's not dangerous but her advice sure can get on your nerves. I was willing to put up with it for Liam's sake so I let Judy move in for a couple of days until Liam came back from his trip. It's not like either of them was much help anyway so it didn't make a difference to me who stayed. So she came over the other day and was tolerable throughout the day which was a pleasant change from her usual know it all attitude. Around 11, I put Ron to sleep in the nursery and went to the living room to get some work done while he slept. He'd been sleeping periodically the entire day so I knew he'd be up in an hour or so anyway but in the meantime, I wanted to complete some work that I'd left for later before my maternity leave. At night, before I went to bed, I planned on feeding him if he got fussy and then putting him to sleep in the crib in my bedroom. I'd had the baby monitor on the entire time that I was working and kept checking the screen from time to time to see if he was up or not. Unfortunately, after a while, I kind of got distracted with work and forgot to check for a good few minutes. Then I suddenly heard some sounds from the nursery and when I looked at the baby monitor instinctively, I saw Judy lift Ron up in her arms as he was fussing and then try to calm him down. I was about to walk to the room when I suddenly noticed Ron's feeding bottle sticking out of her pocket so I made a run for the nursery. I'd told Judy several times that I was the only person allowed to feed him and prepare his formula so I don't know what she was thinking. I assumed she was trying to bypass me and feed him herself so I rushed to the room to stop her. I entered the room just in the nick of time, grabbed Ron from her arms, and then put him down again because he'd stopped fussing. I asked her what was in the bottle and she said that she'd mixed water with cow's milk so Ron could try real milk for the first time. Any new mother knows it's not okay for a baby to drink either of those things and on top of that, Judy went on to tell me that it was completely safe because the milk was straight from the farm and hadn't even been pasteurized so Ron could build immunity. I was horrified and asked her why exactly she'd thought any of this was a good idea so she went on to explain that Liam had called her for this purpose, to help make Ron a stronger baby because he was afraid I was mollycoddling him and that would lead to weaker health and immunity in the future. I just stared at her for a few seconds and let the fact that my husband had put her up to all of this sink in because it was beyond ridiculous. I told her to get out of the nursery and also my house because I didn't want her help anymore. She left the nursery but she refused to leave the house and said that she wasn't going to abandon her grandson with me. She called me incompetent and said that I was spoiling Ron and that the way to prevent him from becoming a weak and sickly boy was to feed him the harmful concoction she'd created with raw milk and water, both things that could seriously harm Ron. I actually grabbed her by the arm and dragged her away from the nursery before telling her to get out once more. That's when things got ugly and she physically pushed me to get me out of the way. There was a bit of an altercation between us when she pushed me away and once I managed to get her out of the way, I ran straight to the nursery and locked myself in with Ron and then I called the cops immediately. As long as I was in the room, Judy kept screaming at me at the top of her lungs and blamed me for making Ron weak and useless. She was also really mad about me grabbing her to remove her from near the nursery and we'd both received quite a few scratches while trying to get the other out of the way. I'm thankful for the baby weight that made me heavier and harder to push because otherwise, she would have easily taken me on. The cops arrived after around 15 minutes and by then, Ron was up and crying like crazy and I started yelling for the cops to know I was the one who called which agitated him even more. It took an hour for them to finally get the story straight, arrest Judy, and remove her from the property while she screamed at me and only then was I able to attend to Ron. He's doing better now but I was mostly terrified for him the other day. 
I've locked up the house and moved in with my parents for a while because I don't trust anyone apart from them right now. I've been really shaken up from the incident the other night because Judy actually got violent with me because I didn't want to let her feed Ron and if that was any indication of how Liam and his family were going to act in the future then it was in my best interest to get out while I'm ahead. Liam called me the very next day and asked me if I'd call the cops on his mother and I said yes without even feeling a bit of remorse. I chewed him out over his stupid advice and told him that he'd better prepare himself for a divorce and also to lose custody of Ron because, after the way he and his mother had behaved, they had no business being around my son anymore. He was very upset and almost started to cry when I told him that. He thinks I've been unfair to him and his family and that I could have sorted this all out peacefully and in a more civilized way but I chose to hurt them. First his mother by physically grabbing her and then him by threatening to take Ron away from him. His belief is that he and his mother were just trying to look out for Ron and if they'd made a few mistakes during that then it should all just be forgiven because, at the end of the day, it's for Ron's own good. It sounded like such nonsense that I disconnected the call without even bothering to argue with him and explain why he was wrong. His mother is out and he's coming back either tomorrow or the day after so I have to make a decision quickly about what I want to do about this. I don't think either of them deserves to be around Ron at all after what they've tried to do to him and they've proven that they're very incompetent and could be potential threats to Ron's well-being. At the same time, I definitely was the one who got physical first and grabbed Judy to move her away from the room so maybe that's what instigated the violence that followed. Liam isn't entirely wrong that I didn't try to be civilized, and went straight to manhandling when I realized Ron was in danger and that's definitely gonna come up in whatever custody battle that takes place so now I'm not sure what to do. My parents don't think I need to feel sorry about it at all because I was trying to protect my son but some of my friends think that it'll be risky. So Ida for grabbing my mother-in-law to move her away from my son's nursery after she tried to feed him raw cow's milk and water to build his immunity because of my husband's advice? Update 1, I read the comments on my original post and now I know what a colossal idiot I'd been. I can't believe I was about to put my son's life in danger once more because Liam was trying to gaslight me into thinking I was in the wrong here and I'd somehow started the altercation. Maybe it had been wrong to grab Judy but honestly, I did it just to protect Ron so I don't feel guilty about it at all. I'm so glad that I decided to post about it here and get it off my chest because now Liam can't just manipulate me the way he is so used to. I've spoken to a lawyer already and we're planning to file for divorce in a day or two. Thankfully Liam's trip got extended without warning so it bought me some more time and I've decided to move in with my cousin soon for a couple of reasons. She has a much bigger house so it'll be easier for me and Ron there and also because Liam doesn't know where she lives so he won't know where to find me. It's exhausting to move from here to there but it has to be done, I suppose. Update 2 I filed for divorce a couple of days back. Liam returned from his trip yesterday and happened to be served on the same day coincidentally so that's lucky. I blocked him a couple of days back right after filing for divorce so he couldn't talk to me online but he did what I'd expected and headed straight to my parents' house. He couldn't find me there but he did get into a fight with my parents when they refused to tell him of my whereabouts. Apparently, he'd yelled at my parents for quite some time about how they'd raised me and criticized their ways of parenting which had led me to be so selfish today. He also brought up how I'd been physically aggressive towards Judy and said that if he'd done the same thing to my parents then I would have been all up in arms about it. I don't understand how that's a fair comparison because my parents are not a threat to our child like Judy had been but I guess he can change the narrative whenever it suits him. Judy didn't even get in trouble apart from a slap on the wrist and she was out within hours, thanks to her brother who bailed her out as soon as he heard of her situation. My parents were very upset after his visit and called me to inform me that I was doing the right thing by divorcing him because he'd been very disrespectful towards them. I think for him this is more of a tit-for-tat situation since I'd been disrespectful towards Judy, he thought he needed to do the same to my parents without any reason. My parents weren't involved in this fight but he still went out of his way to trouble them. I'm just relieved that I'll be done with him soon as long as he doesn't contest the divorce. I don't think he will but he certainly won't be okay with me having full custody of Ron. Currently, my lawyer and I are putting together every bit of proof we can find to prove that Liam is not a capable father. There's already the incident with his mother that's bad enough as it is but then there's all the things he's said over the last couple of months over text, all his bad and dangerous advice. Additionally, there's also the way he barely helped me with the baby, not because he didn't want to but because he was just so incompetent that I couldn't let him do anything for Ron in good conscience out of fear that he'd screw it up. And it was with good reason, it wasn't as if I was just being too paranoid. He legitimately was just that useless and stupid. I don't even know how I looked past all of it for the first few months after Ron was born. It was probably the postnatal hormones messing with my brain but now that it's clear to me how pointless it is to stay with a man like this, I'm getting the heck out of here. Update 3, so, he did respond to my divorce petition and thankfully he isn't contesting it but he does want full custody of Ron. Not even partial custody, full. He's not even willing to let me have visitation rights which is a very bold move, given the circumstances of our divorce. He really needs to get a better lawyer or maybe just tone down the egoistic side because there's no way any sane judge is going to let him and his crazy family take over Ron's well-being. 
he's with me as of now and since Liam can't find us, he hasn't been able to come to see him either but as far as I know, he's been bothering my parents with incessant phone calls, texts, and unannounced visits almost every other day. When he called my dad the last time, he was warned that if he bothered them anymore then he'd have to deal with the cops which is why he's backed off for a while but I'm not sure how long that'll hold up. Any big update in the custody battle or divorce and he'll be right back to harassing my parents because that's who he can contact. We're meeting a mediator for the settlement negotiations but that's the last of my concerns right now because we're also going to meet another mediator for our child custody case. I definitely do not want it to go to court and neither do I want to lose Ron but I can't think of any scenario where he and I end up on the same page regarding Ron's custody. Both of us are entertaining it as just a formality before the actual court battle because none of us want to come off too aggressive here owing to the situation we're in right now where all this trouble has even come up because of our aggression when it comes to parenting Ron. At least my anger is justified and I'm not just acting like an idiot without even knowing the facts and basics of child safety unlike him and his mother. My cousin has been great and very helpful during this time and gets along well with Ron, too. She's working from home and makes big bucks so she's been generous enough to take over some of our other expenses too like our share of groceries, baby food, and other supplies like diapers and stuff. I can't thank her enough for it. In fact my family has been supportive of me during this time in general and my parents have been coming over to visit me and Ron as often as they can ever since we moved in here. It's nice to be taken care of and not have to deal with a bunch of babies. Hey, all. Liam and I had our first mediation meeting today about the divorce. He wants the house and I'm okay with that because that had been a wedding gift from his mother anyway so he can have it so we're negotiating on the rest of our belongings right now. Except for my engagement ring, I'm keeping all my jewelry. I wouldn't have returned that either but it's a family heirloom so I'm giving it back. Besides the less I have of him to remember, the better it is. It was weird to see him after so long today and be separated by a bunch of lawyers, a table and loads of paperwork then act like strangers but I had to force myself to remember what this guy had put me and my son through so that I wouldn't go soft. I'd left Ron with my mother which happened to be a lucky coincidence because as soon as we were out, Liam stopped me and asked me very formally if I'd let him see Ron today. I had to decline because I didn't want him to follow me home or something and he looked crestfallen for a second which made me feel awful. But then soon enough he was back to being stony faced and walked away without even a goodbye. I don't feel good about any of this but it has to be done and I'm the one who has to take a stand for myself and Ron if I want things to go my way in the future. I drove straight back to my parents house after the meeting to see Ron and he'd been fussy without me so I came back home just in the nick of time. The poor guy had been giving my parents a really hard time. It's been a few hours and I've come back to my cousin's house now. She wasn't able to look after Ron today because she had to attend a work party and it was important for her to be there but I think I'm gonna ask her to watch Ron for the next meeting. My parents are getting old and I don't want to bother them with every little thing now. The next meeting with Liam is regarding Ron's custody and that's definitely going to be a lot more emotionally taxing than this because of all the things that are going to come out of it. I haven't even thought about child support yet, to be honest. My lawyer has put forth a demand for it but truthfully, I think I might take that back because it doesn't feel right to take money from Liam when I know I'm not going to let him have any involvement in Ron's life. So I might change that. Plus I make decent money myself and once maternity leave ends, I'm right back to work so I don't think I need child support either. I'm not taking alimony either. Update 4. It's been a week since my last update and I've been really busy so I haven't been able to come to Reddit that often. But I'm still reading comments occasionally and I'd just like to thank you guys for everything. All the support and kind words and concern, it's all been really helpful and it feels great to know that there are a lot more people rooting for me than I believed initially. Especially now that the custody case is going to court because, at the very last minute, Liam decided to change his mind and cancel the mediation sessions because he wanted the case to go to court for a more fair and unbiased verdict. I don't know what he thinks is going to happen because as far as I know, no judge in their right mind will rule in his favor after they find out what happened the night that I left his house. He and his mother had very obviously tried to put Ron in harm's way, be it intentionally or not. But it's better for me this way because then we might be able to get this over with quickly without waiting for us to get on the same page for ages during our mediation sessions. I haven't heard from Judy since the day the cops took her away that night. My parents told me that they learned from a couple of common friends that she's living with Liam now to take care of him which makes sense because Liam never was one who could take care of himself and live on his own. Now that I'm separating from him, it just feels so weird that I used to babysit this manchild while juggling work and household chores. All he would do is go to the office, come back, and ask me to help him out with his chores too. It wasn't even as if my work was less strenuous than his, both of us were corporate employees with desk jobs so it was definitely equal stress for both of us but for some reason, I was doing both our jobs at home. At least after Ron was born, he had the decency to hire a maid so I could ease up on the workload but refused to do any additional work himself apart from whatever his job required him to do. I loved him a lot so I stayed with him and didn't think there was anything wrong with how we were living but now it just seems ridiculously unfair that I allowed him to treat me this way. In a way, I have my son to thank because had he not been born, Liam and his mother never would have revealed just how stupid they really are and how I'm better off without my husband. 
Being a single mom's gonna be hard but I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a hell lot easier being a mom to my son than being a mother to my husband, that's something I'm sure of. And word to the wise, ladies, learn from my mistakes and get out while you can. Update 5, it's been a while since I've come back on Reddit. I celebrated getting full custody of Ron last week and I'm about to get back to work in a few days. Things have been hectic but I'm getting back on my feet now. Probably won't be active here anymore so wish me luck, you guys.